According to a 2016 press release done by the CDC on their website, more than a third of American adults are not getting enough sleep on a regular basis. Now, I'm sure you've all had a night where you really could not sleep. It's really affected you, and this is very common. Last year, I took a course on psychology, and it inspired me to major in psychology and to one day aspire to be a psychologist. Now, this has also inspired me to read books, especially on sleep psychology, such as The Neuroscience of Sleep and Dreams by Patrick McNamara, a professor of neurology at the BU School of Medicine. There are a multitude of reasons for why sleep is so important for the brain. First, I will discuss how it's linked to how lack of sleep is linked to mental illness. Then I will discuss how sleep can clean toxins from the brain. And then I will explain how it is very important for memory and learning. First, lack of sleep is linked to mental illness. According to a 2020 article, the complex relationships between sleep, depression, and anxiety, updated on the National Sleep Foundation website, a person with sleep insomnia is 10 times likely to have depression and 17 likely, times likely to have anxiety. Insomnia is just a, a, a disease that makes it where it's very hard to sleep. And this, this article also states that when you don't get the seven to nine hours of quality sleep you need, it can, heavily, it can heavily influence your outlook on life, energy level, motivation, and emotions. And this is, this is definitely the cause of anxiety and depression because when you have these problems where you're looking at energy level motivation and your outlook on life, it really will affect your mindset. And as you can see here, yeah, this, this just shows the mechanistic way of how mental illness and sleep disruption are linked. Next, I will go over how sleep cleans toxins from the brain. In a 2019 Wired Online Magazine article, scientists now know how sleep cleans toxins from the brain by Sarah Harrison a science journalist, she goes over how Laura Lewis's experiment proves that cerebrospinal fluid washes over the brain in non-REM sleep. Now, Laura Lewis has EEG caps and MRIs on the people she's studying while they sleep. And based off of this, Harrison states, what she discovered was that during non-REM sleep, large, slow waves of cerebrospinal fluid were washing over the brain and this, for sure, was cleaning toxins. Next, in a 2018 edition of the Science News Magazine, the article, The Clean Cycle, by Laura Beale, who is also a science journalist, goes over Nadergaard's experiment, which he performed on mice. Nadergaard made an incision into the skull of the mice and put dye in it to see when the cerebrospinal fluid washes over. Now, Based off of this, Beale states Nadergaard discovered during sleep the spaces between the brain cells widened by about 60% and allowed for more fluid to wash through. Now this fluid washed through has been proven to not only clean to toxins from brain, but it shows that our, our minds are very active while we sleep. And as you can see here, there's very fundamental certain things about the human brain in the mouse brain that is very much alike. And also, this is the EEG cap that Laura Lewis uses in her experiments that picks up on electrical waves in the brain. Lastly, I will discuss how sleep is really crucial for memory and learning. The 2019 article from the Sydney Morning Herald, A Doctor Explains Why You Need Sleep by Kate Gregorivik, a doctor who specializes in lifestyle medicine pertaining to sleep at Royal Melbourne Hospital, Gregor Vorich, Gregor Revivik states, while we are in non-REM sleep, parts of the brain that are distant from each other communicate, which helps to consolidate memory. Sleep not only facilitates new learning, it also clears the way for retention of yet more new information when you wake up. Now this consolidation and retention of new information helps 
for us to learn effectively and rapidly so that we can keep going. Now, a 2020 edition from the American Journal of Speech Language Pathology also reinforces this in the article, sleep supports memory and learning implications for clinical practice in speech language pathology by Emily L. Morrow and Melissa C. Duff. Dr. Duff is the director of the Communications and Memory Lab at Vanderbilt University, and her work specializes in the hippocampal region of the brain that functions with memory. In this article, they state, although initial memory reactivation may also occur during wake, behavioral studies have shown that people who sleep after getting a learning boost are able to remember more information later. The, the better the sleep, the better the learning given this boost. And as you can see in this picture, our brain is very, very active while we sleep. And based off of this, it, it's proven that it can help with our, with our memory and our learning. In conclusion, we have gone over how sleep, lack of sleep is linked to mental illness, how it cleans toxins from the brain, and how healthy sleep is good for memory and learning. So many people do not get sleep, and it's, it's well documented that we need this sleep. If we don't get this sleep, it greatly affects us. So I encourage you all today to go out and to retain this information, to put it into practice, to get better sleep, and to encourage others to do that so we can have the healthiest possible brain. Questions? Yes. Um, with, uh, with COVID-19 going around, there's a lot of talk about um, immune compromisation. And does, uh, does lack of sleep affect your immune system at all? Well, lack of sleep does affect the immune system. If we don't get enough sleep, we not only are more likely to get disease and viruses, but we'll have worse symptoms of it. And these symptoms will can even cause death, such as you can see with the COVID-19 disease. Uh, any questions from you? Has anybody di ever died from lack of sleep? Well, actually, such, such things as sleep insomnia and other diseases that make it where it's very hard to sleep has actually caused people to not get enough sleep over a long period of time. And over this period of time, people will die. It's well recorded that if you don't get enough sleep over a long period of time, it can cause death. And this is another reason why sleep is really important for the brain. Yes. 